In the last video, we talked about the supply function and the demand function. In this video, we'll be looking at the equilibrium point. So here I'm going to assume I'm still looking at the market for one product, and I'm going to assume that I have the demand function d of x, and I have the supply function s of x. The point at which these two curves meet is super important. It's called the equilibrium point. So I'm going to denote it by x0, p0, and I'm going to say that that's the intersection point of the two graphs, so that means s of x0 equals d of x0 equal p0. equilibrium point, and I'm going to call this value the equilibrium um, price. Alright, so let's try an example. Let's take the same um, mark it as the first example of the last video. Um, I'm going to assume that I'm looking at a phone by Mary Ago. So assume that the demand and supply function function as before. It's a thousand over x and a supply function. We didn't have one before so I need one now. 40 root of x and I want to find the equilibrium point. Sorry, it was root of x here. Yeah. So the demand function is decreasing. While the supply function will be increasing. It's a root function, so it's going to look something like that. So the higher the price, the more people are willing to produce, the more producers are willing to, um, to dish out product. And so the supply curve will usually be increasing, strictly increasing, sometimes flat but never decreasing. The demand function will always be decreasing because um, the more people you want to buy, uh, the more people want to buy, that means the lower the price was. And now we're looking for that intersection point right here. So we're looking for this point. Um, this is the number of units as before. And so this point would be x0, so that's the number of units at the equilibrium point. And this was the price in dollars, so this one would be p0. All 
right? So this red point would be x0, p0, and that's the equilibrium. So we want to find when the demand and the supply are the same. So d of x equals s of x. We have the functions, so it's just a matter of doing the algebra. Um, let me send the root of x to the other side. I'll get 40 root of x squared um, is equal to 1,000. Let me divide by 1,000 here. I get 25 equals x. So this x0 is at 25. And to find p0, you apply either function. point is right. If you want to check that 25 is the right value, you can apply both. They should both give you 200 in that case. So the equilibrium point is um, x0, p0, and so in this case it's 25, 200. So this is the price at which the demand and the supply agree, so that's usually um, the price at which the market wants to be. But before we make that a bit more precise, before we look at surpluses on each side, um, let's just write out a few of the things we said, just looking at the example. So the demand function is decreasing, maybe not strictly decreasing, it could be flat, but in general the demand function is decreasing. would be increasing. And so in general, unless you have strange flat curves, there should be one equilibrium. Thank you. 